It's a wow. really good start. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty impressive right there. Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing in Minnetonka. Got a new driver, testing it out today with Thomas, the Tour Edge C721. We've done some uh, initial testing of the Tour Edge C721 products and forgiveness seems to be the common theme here, Thomas. And they've done a bunch of different things to kind of move the weight, optimize the weighting, and ultimately provide you know, more forgiveness, easier launch and uh, you know, distance as well for all the golfers using the products. So Thomas, I just wanna get your opinion on what that looks like um, down at address. Uh, well, in general total, cause I think we'll talk about the carbon wings, right? That we can kind of see those on the crown. So, I mean, does that, is it distracting to you? Does it look, you know, how does that look at address and do you really notice that? I mean, there's definitely kind of a lot going on. Now I know why it's there. I know they're moving the weight from the top to the, to the back of the yeah. club. So it's if it's going to help hey i can get over if it's going to go yeah. further and be more forgiving for sure i can get used to it but definitely notice that the ridge back across the mm -hmm. the, the, the the crown there as well so it's definitely a couple of things you can definitely notice at address um but otherwise it just looks like a nice big forgiving driver yeah it looks like it kind of fits into those that driver category where it's maybe a little bit of a shallower face but it is uh, in terms of the footprint, there's a lot more space covered right there, right? Like you can see that weight back in the club head. So gonna be forgiving for sure. But one thing I'm curious about is to find out maybe if the spin stays down too, because I know for your purposes as well, I know you're kind of chasing distance a little bit and see if that stays down, you're able to kind of control the flight a little bit. Yeah, and as we're testing today, I'll definitely make sure I got that silver dot facing up that helps for TrackMan inside to really focus on that, on that spin rate as we are testing. I'm curious too on the spin, because spin for me, is a lot of times I see a higher MOI driver, I see everything pushed back, I'm like, is this thing gonna spin more or is this spinning gonna stay down? Yeah. Can you get the both of best of both worlds? Can you get right. the high forgiveness, but can you also get that low spin? Right. And that's yeah. something that I'm definitely looking for. That's the elusive combination that they're always chasing after. And so I guess we can find out right here. We can All find right. out right here while uh, we'll watch you hit some shots. Sounds good. So I've got the nine, nine and a half degree head. So the nice thing with the Tour Edge Exotics C721 is the hosel is adjustable. So we've got the nine and a half degree head, but you can also adjust the loft. So you go down two or up two, or you can go down a little bit less or up a little mm -hmm. bit more. It also can go upright with the setting and keep it neutral there as okay. well. So maybe at the end, I'll kind of knowing I'm always chasing more distance, I'll tr try and roll that loft down and hit up on it and hit, see if I can get some more extra distance and yeah. just see what happens if we change from nine and a half to seven and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we always love seeing uh, hit some bombs, so we'll, we'll see that uh, at the end. But first, we'll kind of start with standard settings, everything, and we'll see just how the club head performs. Sounds good. High launch, low spin, can't go wrong with that. There it is. Spin below 2000, but yet you're launching that one, um, you know, pretty high and that landing angle is pretty steep. But yep. I mean, 17.4 degrees on the launch. That's pretty, that's that high launch low spin right there. Yep. Kind of interesting there. So that clearly was a miss hit. It left the face pretty far open. It barely stayed in bounds. Um, but that spin rate kind of stayed down, yeah. which is kind of really impressive. That was all user error right there. It left that face angle kind of wide open. Yeah. Normally when that happens, that spin rate is going to go like crazy and spin a lot more. Clearly a bad swing by me, but forgiveness is still there and that's yeah. important. That is, you know, I, I'm, I'm guilty of this more than most golfers, right? Leaving the face open and then the, usually the result of that is distance drops off because it's spinning more and kind of flailing out to the right and then it'll drop 20, 30 yards shorter than normal. That didn't happen here. Uh, the spin is, I mean, that's the prime, I know where you like to be right around 2000 for spin. That's the prime number. So that's very interesting and surprising. Yeah, well, let's hit a couple more, see if I can get that club face square a little bit more. <laughs> that is very impressive. That spin is extremely low, considering everything we talked about before, about the forgiveness and the way that they've you know, moved some weight around to make sure that MOI is high. Uh, generally, the sacrifice there can be spin sometimes. At so far, I mean, that's only three shots, so a small sample size, but so far, that's not the case here. Yeah, that spin at 1764, even with the nine and a half degree setting, it's really kind of impressive that, yeah. you know, um, I hit up on that six and a half degrees right there and spin rate, you know, that was, that was pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with that. It's mm -hmm. almost, almost too little, too low spin. 
really good stuff from Tour Edge. I'm yeah. impressed. Uh, I know now you kind of the part where you maybe want to chase some distance here, because uh, you know you're hitting the ball, you're hitting up on the ball so much that you can deal off the club a little bit here and see how those numbers can really inflate a little bit. Let's take a look. Let's reduce this down to seven and a half. Uh, Three twenty nine point eight. This almost one of the furthest drives that I mm -hmm. have really kind of hit recently after doing a little more speed training. You'll notice my club speed was only at 113 there. Yeah. So there's, there's potential there that I, this could be the furthest drive that I hit right now yeah. on this channel. So <laughs> well, that's it. And it's, stay it's, tuned. <laughs> it's a Tour Edge Exotics. So yeah. it's maybe not what people maybe have thought of right off the bat with regards to the distance, right. but. These initial numbers are very promising though, for sure. Yeah, very, very impressive. All right, so Thomas, you've lowered the loft and I have to imagine that maybe does a little bit of something to you know the lie angle and maybe change the way the face is at address. Yeah the face will be a little bit more open by putting it at just the, the standard neutral minus minus setting. There is also on the other side so if you flipped it 180 degrees there is upright settings where you can go up in loft as well so that would make the club play a little bit more upright there too mm -hmm. but it's going to open the face just a little bit okay with, with regards to here so i would have to make sure i would definitely work hard to get that club face to turn over yeah that's a really um, good start <laughs> that's uh it's pretty impressive right there that is i know 334 is pushing <laughs> the farthest drive you've hit before uh, i know with the speed training and stuff we've been keeping tabs on that and so I mean, to hit that 100 feet in the air, that's almost ideal for what you're looking for. I mean, the fact that I had a little more speed there, but my club path, my face angle, my face to path right there, look, look <laughs> yeah, at all the numbers. True. I, yeah, that, that's pretty impressive right there. Yeah, the pretty, height about just a little over 100 feet. You're going to deliver, so regardless of the golfer, if you get these numbers down here, it's you're going to get straight. a good drive. It's going to yep. be a straight drive, yep. regardless of how, how fast the club head is actually moving. Uh, that was that was a pretty good start right there. 334.8. Yeah. So I'm, I mean, no, it's interesting that, you know, the spin is here. I mean, I know the loft went down, but the, yeah. the spin is saying so low with this club. I'm I'm very impressed. This is uh, this is getting fun right now. <laughs> 313 carry. That has is that the farthest carry distance you've had? It's got to be it, close. It's got to be close. I I don't know if I've reached I maybe reached 340 once. Okay. And that was when I did the, right after I did the super speed training, but. Okay. Yeah, and my club speed on that swing was one like 117 in that one. Okay. It's pretty impressive, it's hot. That is, I mean, hey, we, we didn't even mention, right, the Diamond Face 2.0 in there as well. Uh, that's something that Tour Edge has been, you know, they've pushed into their metal woods for a while now. Uh, it's kind of the diamond face, diamond construction within the club face, uh, creating, you know, more ball speeds there. So, I mean, we're seeing some of that right here. Uh, this is, these are some explosive numbers from, from Thomas here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hot, it's loud. Yeah. Goes far, yeah, it's impressive. Let's, let's try one or two more. Try one or two I, more, I okay. just want to kind of Maybe finish off here. See if we can get to that 340, uh, 340 mark. Oh, yeah, I can't leave it short now. <laughs> <laughs> A little more ball speed. Ah. I mean, the dispersion there is, yeah. is excellent I mean, right you'll, there. Uh, you'll take that one. It's not the farthest tee shot you've ever hit, but it's pretty, <laughs> still pretty close. I mean, so this is, uh, that's pretty impressive. Uh, I think you'll take all three of those every day of the week. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I want to hit another one, but I don't think I need another one. I was one. just going mean... to say, do you, do you want to jeopardize that dispersion and hit another one, or do you want to just take, <laughs> take your uh, winnings here and move on? Yeah, I, uh, I'm happy with that. Those, those numbers were excellent. Um, it's a low spinning, forgiving, yeah. extremely forgiving driver. Yeah, I think I'm really impressed with the spin staying down, uh, despite the fact that it does seem like such a high MOI club. That spin is very low relative to maybe others kind of that are similar, I think. So the fact that um, you're able to get that and then also a little lesson here for, you know, if you're really trying to gain distance, you can look at the attack angles on those swings and you can see how Thomas is up on the ball as a way of hitting the ball further. But that co combined with, you know, Tour Edge Exotics C721 with, you know, Diamond Face, Ridgeback, everything in there, produced some serious, serious distance today for Thomas. Um, that, was, that was fun to watch. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a winner. It's, it's really, really hot off the face and exceptionally good. Very forgiving, very easy to hit. 
uh, I'm really impressed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, golfers seeing this video, if you're interested in the Tour Edge Exotics C721 driver, you know where to go. Second Swing, uh, whether in a store or at secondswing.com. And one of our experts can help you out and get set up with a new Exotics C721 driver. And uh, you'll be chasing some more distance just as Thomas is here. So thank you guys for watching and thank you to Thomas for hitting the shots today. Not a problem. Mm -hmm.